You know when God takes you in a crazy roller coaster of trust and you finally give in to join the ride and you have an amazing time once you get down? That's exactly how I feel right now. And I want to extend that invitation to you in case you ever have doubts or you hesitate following God into a crazy journey. Um, for me, it's been knowing what to do with the rosaries that God called me to create. And yeah, you know, I felt really weird. I felt like I wasn't the one to do this project, even though I love the idea and the whole process that went into designing the rosary abacus was beautiful. And I'm so grateful for it. I certainly didn't feel like I was the one who should be creating this and distributing to the world because yes, I'm Catholic, but I don't really pray the rosary. I don't really have a devotion to it. Or at least they didn't. Um, our lady, she has been very persistent these past couple of years, just showing up in the most random times, but at the same time, times where I needed her the most. And I think it's her motherly love that she just knew when my soul was in desperate need of my mother. And she came to the rescue. And there's so many crazy stories that I can share about how Our Lady has impacted my life. But the main one has been getting me to pray the rosary and i was never going to pray the rosary because i didn't understand the beauty behind it and how powerful it actually is i went into a huge like i, I don't know just <laughs> wanting to know more about this prayer because if god put it in my heart to make rosaries for children and to inspire other people families especially to have a devotion to the rosary i felt like it was almost hypocritical of me to be the one making these rosaries but not praying the rosary the rosary so um knowing myself i needed to know the why behind it as much as possible and i say that because our faith is full of mysteries and we're not meant to understand every single thing but i'm just the kind of person who wants wants to know like <laughs> Like, why do, why should I pray the rosary? I know it's not a requirement, but everyone seems to advertise it, so to speak. Like, if you're a Catholic, you should be praying the rosary. And I didn't understand why. So finally, I started doing more research and I learned a lot about the rosary. And I actually have a video on um, why October is the month of the rosary, which what a gift that we have through the church that we're able to know um, they were able to have a whole month dedicated to the rosary. And so that's kind of when I started to realize that this is an important thing, like an important devotion that could help us grow in our faith. So, um, I explain a lot more as to why October is the month of the rosary, what happened and all the different fun facts about that. But, um, like I said, this video, I wanted to focus more on the like the beauty that comes with praying the rosary so this is for, for someone who maybe you don't want to pray the rosary or you were like me and you just didn't know why we should so i get it it can be a little boring because you're just repeating the same thing over and over again and it's kind of you know it takes about 20 minutes to pray it more or less so why why even pray it and I think the main, re if you're going to take something from this video, I think would be that the rosary just teaches you how to meditate and calm your mind. So there's so many beautiful things about this prayer. Like, yes, you are repeating um, a bunch of Hail Marys and Our Fathers and stuff like that, but you're meditating on the life of Christ and the relationship that Mary and Christ have. So Mary is so important because she is the first Christian. And she's the mother of Jesus. So she literally is the closest, most intimate person that there will ever be with Christ. So we can rest assured that she has our best interests. So when I started to realize that, I was like, okay, I am so quick to call up a friend um, or a priest, like whomever, and have theological conversations about the faith or just ask them to pray for me and have that moment of like spiritual connection. So when I learned that our mother has our best interests and that she is literally the closest person to Christ because she is the mother of God, um, 
I was like, why, why am I not talking to her if she wants to be my friend? Because like I said, she had been very consistently and persistently trying to get me to be her friend. Um, I was just very hesitant or very, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't want to, like, it's, I wasn't trying to be like mean or anything, but I, I just didn't see the point. I was like, no, I'm, I'm loving my relationship with Christ. Like, I don't, I don't really need you. Um, but the Lord was so patient with me and slowly but surely he has helped me see the beauty of having a relationship with her and the best way to have open communication with her is through the rosary because you're helping she helps you meditate on the gospel based on what she was experiencing since she she lived with Christ through all the events that we pray in the rosary so she gives us a lot of insight into who Christ is and who God is and what he can do to someone as humble as Mary. And we see that through her, we have the best like model to know how we should behave as Christians. So that's a gift in itself. And just, of course... Okay, I guess, okay, I didn't mention this, but one of the reasons why I was hesitate to pray the rosary is because after praying the rosary, um, there would be times where I just had either, like, very weird dreams or I would all of a sudden start feeling very anxious. So there was just something going on that I didn't like how it felt after praying the rosary. And it didn't have to be immediately. It could be, like, the day, the day after I prayed it or something. But... I knew that it was because I prayed the rosary that I was having like these spiritual attacks and they're not comfortable. So I just decided not to. But once I, um, once I was praying about it, I realized that that's totally the enemy trying to push me away from Our Lady. And it makes sense since he does not like Our Lady. Like if he hates someone the most, it's definitely her. Like she's the most perfect creature. Um, as perfect as a creature can be and she has such a special relationship with the holy trinity that of course he's going to try to destroy her and anything that has to do with her and anyone who goes to her he's going to destroy so that has given me a little bit more hope in knowing that i'm doing something good because i'm getting all these different attacks to not pray it um but now that thank god <laughs> my faith is a lot stronger and i'm able to recognize that those are spiritual attacks because of the good fruit that my heart is bearing through those prayers and that deep um those deep moments of meditation i'm able to feel encouraged to pray so i'm no longer afraid i am now encouraged to pray the rosary and i hope that you are also encouraged to pray more often and that you received far more graces and gifts that I've received from praying the rosary. Um, for instance, one of the things that have been, that has been happening is I am just less afraid of what people might think or say. And coming from someone who's pretty like confident in like who I am, I still like have that hesitation of being seen and it seems very counterintuitive with making these videos and making content like writing on the blog and stuff like that but it has been quite a journey with that because I was afraid of people seeing who I was but after having a deeper prayer life and especially through the rosary I'm able to see that it's not about me but it's all about God and showing what God has been doing through me and ever since I'm like okay I think this is this is a beautiful thing and it's okay for people to see that I'm human, but even in my human humanity, hum, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I I can still be a vessel for God and for Him to work through me. So, with all of my imperfections, I am still loved by God, and the saints are cheering me on. That includes Mary and all of my friends here on earth too. So it's helped me to become more humble and to align my heart to what a Christian should be. So this is, I feel like I'm just rambling at this point and it's getting kind of long, but I just wanted to invite you to continue to 
um, pray the rosary or to, or to start if you haven't because so many graces will come from it. It's, it's kind of crazy, but I would suggest that you do put yourself in a place where your soul and your prayer life are very strong because of those possible temptations that might come along the way. Um, again, those might come regardless if you pray the rosary or not as you're growing in your faith journey because, well, we're in a spiritual batter, battle and the enemy is constantly going to try to bring you down and prevent you from growing, growing in your faith as a Christian. So it might not be the rosary, but for me, that was like the next step in my faith to be able to make time to just sit and meditate on the gospels through the rosary. Once I did that, I, I recognized that it's, it's a little intimidating how much like the devil hates it. So it's, it's hard, but at the same time, what a grace it is to recognize that because they are attacks from the enemy, I don't have to be afraid of anything. Like I said, I am encouraged to keep going with this journey. So pray your rosaries, even though I know it's hard. 